Here's your raw coffee right there. 15 horsepower car with a 300 horsepower radio. And the music's terrible. Of course, that's why they play it so loud, because they know you'd never listen to it if you had a choice. Now, I know as you get older, you're supposed to mature and accept things around you and just keep quiet. To me, that means everybody in the cemetery is about as mature as you can get. I prefer to stay childish. So this time on Handyman Corner, I'm going to strike back by turning this van into the world's largest boombox. Now, they don't build the size of speaker I have in mind, so I have to make my own. How hard can it be? For starters, I need a real big magnet to put on the back of my speaker. So I took every fridge magnet anybody's ever given me, and I put them into this metal bucket. Different insurance guys, pizza delivery places, religious fanatical groups. Boy, this is a strong magnet. OK, perfect. Yeah, that's right where I wanted it. <laughs> that saved me a little time. <laughs> okay. Now, to make the cone for my speaker, I'm going to use one of these kitty swimming pools. Just give me a minute to inflate this, will Deal's a deal. There you go. Okay, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. You gotta make an electromagnet on the back of your pool that'll fit over the bucket of fridge magnets, and you gotta do all this without going over budget. So I'm just using this old garbage pail because I don't need this until garbage day, and I figure by then this whole project will be a distant, painful memory. <laughs> then for the electromagnet part, all I'm doing is winding this string of Christmas lights around the outside. These all fell off the roof during that big storm last July. Okay, I'm gonna need some real waters to drive this baby. So here's what I did. I took all the amplifiers out of a bunch of old radios I had, you know, in the rag and down the basement, up in the attic, and in the dining room. Wired them all together in series. And I probably got about a trillion gigawatts of power here. If it doesn't work out as a radio, make a dandy welder, huh? <laughs> now, of course, I'm not going to have any music until I turn on the van radio, but I still got to hook up the speaker, make sure the power's getting through, you know. <laughs> Yeah, good. No, that's, no, that's, that's all good. Okay, now I just gotta crank the volume on her. Okay, we're ready to rock. <laughs> so remember, if the women don't find you handsome, oh, baby, <laughs> they should at least find you handy. <laughs>